Hi Chuckets, I have been following you and watching your YouTube channel for years. I have decided to finally relocate to Las Vegas and want to start a new chapter in my life. I know you're the perfect realtor to help guide me to find my next dream home. I am looking for a modern kitchen, large backyard with a pool and a golf course community. My name is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I help buyers like this all the time. So if you're looking for a licensed professional, give us a call at 702-319-1092 or visit lvhomeexperts.com. Buying a home starts here. All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Chuck, it's Chris Watt. Licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today I'm over here at the Arches by Lennar. This is a gated community that consists of 60, roughly about 60 homes, all single story homes. They just opened recently. So we're located here in the mass plan community of Summerlin. This is the Theodore model with the next gen. All single stories come with a next gen. Now we did tour the Alexander, the Edward model. By far my favorite right now is the Edward model, but we're gonna take a look at this Theodore. We're gonna look at it together. And uh, as soon as I walked in, I was pretty much in love with the home, but I didn't look at the, the rest of the home. I just walked in and it was just like a gorgeous home. Oh, is it going over it? Oh, it stopped. Now, the Theodore model with the next gen here, this home is 3,775 square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half bath. The base price on here, the starting price, is at $1,355,990. Now, this is a net zero home, which means that um, it's pretty much off the grid. They do have the Tesla battery bank in the garage so let's go inside and let's take a look here uh, a couple things that i see is that you have some beautiful cladding which is really nice so the front here is actually the casita because it's a detach but what's cool about this home is that as soon as you walk into this gate here okay if we take a look we have some nice siding that transitions to some nice cladding, some stonework. Then we have stucco. But take a look at this courtyard. Just like how gorgeous this courtyard is. This is just a whole nother living area. I think probably what I would do eventually is have some sort of fire feature here or, you know, just all the way up to the top where you can kind of hang out, sit out, relax. Here is your garage. It gives you that access point for the casita. But I believe this is attached to the home. I'm not too sure. We're going to go figure it out. So we got these uh, French doors here, which is, it is connected, which is really nice. So here's kind of your main living area. So this is going to be your living room. But what we're going to do is we're going to head back inside because I got to show you this beautiful floor plan here it's just so contemporary it's open it's unbelievable so we have a i think a 53 inch um pivot door i could never remember so as we come in and if you take a look we're just really greeted by this 12 foot ceiling just completely open just unbelievable i'm gonna adjust this a gimbal just a little bit here there we go it's like I don't even know where to start, but I'm just gonna I'm just kind of like walk around. I mean, we have city views of the Las Vegas Strip here. Let's see if we can go outside. Nope, they actually locked the back. But just imagine a pool back here. So we have a home that's being built here. So the good news is that if you bought this home you actually have a, a gorgeous view. And by far the Theodore is got to be the best model.
I mean, just take a look at this. So the countertops here, we have some quartz countertops with the island, three inch front face waterfall. This is a six by 10 on the island. Now, the back of the cabinet itself, there's actually some cabinet drawers, okay? We have a, a 50, no, I'm sorry, a 70, I think like a 72 or something inch uh, refrigerator here, cabinets above, but look how large this pantry is. I mean, this is something that you guys can literally get ready for a pandemic or a depression that it's on its way. No, I don't know, I'm just making that stuff up. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Don't listen to that propaganda because I have no clue what the hell is going on. And take a look at the additional cabinet in the storage here. This is unbelievable. I'm sure a lot of this stuff will be an upgrade from here to here. Love the, just extra storage. I mean, there's just so much. And they added some LED lights, 42 upper cabinets, and it's double stacked with the 18 inch above. And you get some crowning. Here, the only thing I don't like about this is that we have some dead cabinet space. So I probably would add another cover plate that goes over here, kind of give that custom look. You got monogram appliances. You got the pot filler, 48 inches on there. The hood is also 48 inches. 12 foot ceilings, tons of LED light. Here we have our monogram dishwasher, undermounted sink, purification system. You got your ice maker as well. And you got your luxury laminate flooring. These are uh, six, probably six by eight on here. So we have like two like formal dining areas. So I don't know, do we put the dining room here or do I put a craps table here? I mean, I don't know, this is just cool. Here we have a, a 12 foot slide, 12 by eight. These are vinyl, dual pane, okay? Now you're gonna get a lot of heat on this side. So because the sun is, you know, rises on this side, so what's gonna happen here is that that vinyl is gonna end up turning yellow. That's the only thing about a vinyl, right? The sun out here is definitely gonna beat that up. You have straight edge cornering, eight inches on the baseboards, okay? Another 12 foot slide, another 12 foot slide. However, you can spend about $30,000 and literally just do one long slide which would cost you a lot of money because you're putting that header right over here. Here, I think what I would do is just save costs, leave that center because it's um, low bearing, and I would do the bifold doors here and have them open up in the center. That takes you out to your cover patio. So it looks like you can add the TV over there on that side. But what's nice about this is that you're like the king of the castle. By the time you're done on this, it's probably gonna be about a $2 million home. What do we have over here? Let's go down this way first. Here's just probably your half bath, right? Here's your half bath, not bad. HOAs here, about 160 a month and some change. Then you have your master plan, about 55. There's a balance of SIDS and LIDS on this. Not too sure what the balance is, but you're paying about 2000 a year. There's so much potential. I just love how open this is. This is like literally a party house. And I like how the fact that that next gen is right off the uh, courtyard as well. This must be the primary. Very large primary here. Love the fact that we have some windows. You got some uh, generic blinds though, but they do come with it so I can't complain. I'll definitely use that until I get the Douglas Hunter or Hunter Douglas. I always get them confused. Get the remote. Uh, 
Let's take a look at this bathroom. Now, I was disappointed in the Edward and also the Alexander model because of the bathroom, the spa like. Here, uh, I definitely probably would get rid of this tub and add one large, right, shower from wall to wall, then have my tub, a smaller tub, inside the shower. Then what I would do is tile all this, zero threshold, the whole thing. Then I would just have a little glass window right here, or a glass here, just like that where you can walk in and it's just literally zero threshold. Or I won't even have a glass. You just walk in and you take a shower. Because the bathroom should be big enough where it shouldn't be splashing all over. Very large counter space, that's for sure. 36 inches on the, uh, the counter. Wow, love this walk-in closet. Decent size, good enough for me. And then we have our washer and dryer, double stacked. We got our water closet. Let's come down this hallway here. See what else we have. Off to the left, we have our second bedroom. The Gold Knights. This bedroom is a little bit small, queen size bed. Now I feel a little bit dark in here, because again we only have one light, we need more light because that's not going to be enough. But I love that you have your own private bathroom. Tub shower combo, cladded with some tile, mowing fixtures, again we only have two can lighting up right above. So we definitely need some more lighting. Also, I hate when these guys put these type of uh, quarter rounds here for like a toe kick because it's trying to cover up the cabinet. Uh, this right here I'll get rid of. Um, this is just kind of like a quick gener generic version of that toe kick, which is just, it just looks ugly. Especially at home at this price point. You got another thermostat here. Let's come into the third bedroom. Same thing. And also I noticed that they only have one rocker switch. And the reason why they did that is because for safety hazard, you have to have a light switch, at least one light switch to come into the room. So the requirement is the rocker switch is for the half hot but because they already included a light because the majority of the time the builders what they'll do is have one rocker switch for your half hot but then there is no lighting in here right this light is gone you would have to do the upgrade so they supplement by putting a light here one rocker switch here but then you don't have your lamp lights you have to physically turn this on from the lamp I would rather have standard, just give me the light switch to the half hot, then I'll upgrade myself. Let's take a look at the bathroom here. Full bath, nice high countertops, cladded, same thing. I mean, you can literally spend up to about 2.5 in this home, because by the time you're done, you're gonna have to do a bunch of upgrades to this home. Uh, the interior walls, these are actually a two by two by fours. The exteriors, a two two by six. Washer and dryer. So I noticed the laundry room here on this model is a lot smaller than the other two models. Also, don't forget to go check out those uh, videos on those two models because I want to hear what your thoughts are. So here's the uh, the next gen here. So remember we came in through this room first. We have our appliances. Typically all this is included with Lennar. That's what I do like about Lennar. But 
some of these things you may not get like the faucet you got to check the faucet you can actually upgrade your cabinets as far as like color wise and stuff like that so this would actually be your bedroom now this is a pretty decent sized bedroom now i'm really torn between this model and the edward model but i do like uh, this model here because for the edward model the bathroom is bigger and you can do some stuff to it and the way the layout for the next gen is a lot better but i love the open floor plan on here we should have a wash and dryer here somewhere oh yeah here we go uh, let me know what your thoughts are about this property I mean, this, I don't know, this, it's got to be this one or the, the Edwards. All right. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, video home tour. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, give us a thumbs up, too, as well. Definitely uh, helps out the algorithm. And don't forget to visit the LV Home Experts podcast every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in and be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.